In this lesson, we are going to take a look at how you can solve two-dimensional problems using trigonometry. But before we get there, we first need to have a look at some definitions. Okay, the first definition that we need to be aware of is the idea of line of sight. Now, the line of sight is the direct line that is joining two objects together. Okay, so if I am standing and looking directly at something, the line from my eyes to the object would be the line of sight. From the line of sight, we can define two angles. Firstly, the angle of elevation is the angle formed between the horizon or the horizontal. And remember, horizontal has a gradient of, of zero. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's an angle with a line of 180 degrees that has a gradient of zero. Okay, And when we form an angle between the horizontal and the line of sight, and that line of sight actually lies above the horizontal, then we have an angle of elevation that is created. So if we just have a look here, this bottom line represents the horizontal, and the angle that is formed by looking up towards the line of sight, you can see here that the line of sight is above the horizontal. This angle here that is formed is called the angle of elevation. So whenever your line of sight lies above your horizon, then and you're looking up towards your line of sight, that is an angle of elevation. The angle of depression is the, is the other way around. It's the angle formed between the horizontal and the line of sight when the line of sight is below the horizontal. So here, our horizontal is above, and we actually look down to form an angle to our line of sight. So that angle there, theta, would actually be an angle of depression because the line of sight lies below the horizontal. And just some other things that you need to be aware of. You can assume when you are given a question that the ground is always perfectly horizontal. We know that in reality this isn't always true, but for the purposes of the sums that you're going to work with, you can make that assumption. And that any buildings, trees, towers, or basically any object that stands on the ground, unless you are told otherwise, you can assume that that object is vertical. And whenever you have something that is completely horizontal and something that is completely vertical, the angle that is formed between them is always 90 degrees. So you can see here that that's illustrated. This line here represents the ground level, and we can see that the angle formed with a building, with a tree, with a tower, with all of these objects, we can assume that those are 90 degree angles.